in the last episode. Giving Pike his well-deserved rest, Lord Wider summoned Swain. Unfortunately, our protagonist got absolutely dumpsted by the castrated one in the early laning phase. But after a series of Graves' mistake from Papa, Graves decided to aid our protagonist, initiating the fight with Demonic Ascension. Why Guy set it up perfectly for his friends to secure the kills. Still the castrated one manifested a true display of skill, single-handedly carrying his team, it was an intense fight with both teams standing their ground and not backing down. But it was at the seventh activation of Y Guy's one death power spike that Lord Wydra reminded the castrated one about the state of AD carry in season 13. Papa flashed over the wall face first against the enemy marksman that's four levels ahead of him scaring the castrated one to his demise. The final fight unfolded in the dragon pit. Lord Wydra was unkillable that fight as he drained his enemies closer to their deaths. Y Guy and his team aced their enemies turning the game around for a decisive victory. Nice, why guy with the first blood and the enemy enchanter flashless this early in the game. Clearly an advantage later on for Papa when the laning phase starts. And of course, Yasuo with the early one death power spike. A Nimbus Cloak empowered Flash to secure the kill. Even Lord Wydra did not expect that from the Virtuoso. We're not even level 2 yet I'm already loving the performance of Papa and Jin. The opposite of the word synergy manifested as our protagonist engaged to set up for a supposed to be yank from fiddlesticks. Truly a mistake but a good one for the build up of the plot. The enemy jungle adjoins the fray to aid the enemy bot lane, but to minimize the damage. The virtuoso sacrifices his life so Pa Pa can get away. Just by the tip of the arrow, what a shot from Verus. Also this came giving our protagonist a little trouble on utilizing the lead he got earlier. Not complaining though. I think we have an interesting game in our midst. I sense that some of you are confused on what you've just witnessed. Well you're not alone for I myself is confused as well. I believe it has something to do with Papa having the hotkey to ping enemy wards binded on T. I believe why guy just fat fingered his R. Unfortunate indeed, but is it question mark? Lord Wydra would have gotten both kills if he had his ult that fight, but instead, he intentionally wasted his ult and directed the spotlight to the virtuoso. It was a good guy why guy play all along to please the monetization gods.
I guess we'll just wait a little while in base for our allies. Or we can do that. That's actually better. I think Papa just saved Jin there. You're welcome. Investing on an early Oblivion Orb is actually a very smart move by Papa considering the enemy team comp, paired with Lord Wyder's W snipes to inflict grievous wounds, I can't count the amount of times why guys team clutches a killer because of it. And from the looks of it, why guys working towards the new mythic item Jack Show. I'm getting kinda excited for it to be honest, but I can already tell that it will not be a fun time for his enemies once he completes it. Without access to his ascended form, though they successfully got the Baron buff, Y Guy knew exactly what he needed to do, as he laid down his life for his team to escape. The Virtuoso accompanies our protagonist to further prove his loyalty to Wydra. Honestly, it was very beautiful, but we finished Jack's show now, so that's probably the last time Y Guy will suffer death. Wait a minute, Lord Wydra actually achieved immortality on Swain, but now that his ultimate is down, let's see if Y Guy can survive without ult against a beefy Dr. Mundo.
Well, why guy got a little help from his friends there, and he chewed on some fruits that gives huge health and a shield because why not? But I don't think I'm alone in this when I say that Jack show is kinda overpowered. What a massacre. Hail Widra.